I haven't done a vlog for like weeks and weeks. I've done videos showing how to do things and tutorials, but not just a one I'm up to at the moment. So let's do that right now. And right now what I'm up to is the very last steps of the 80s pop project, something I started weeks ago. But before I tell you about that, let's do two things. And one is get some music on in the background. Normally I listen to music on YouTube or Spotify, but that causes copyright issue when it's in the background. So I figure as I get my music from Epidemic Sound anyway, if I go down to the now trending and hit play, Oh, sorry. Uh, that'd be okay to have that music in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a purchase a mint button on here. Click purchase. This thing is going to pop up over here. And I'll explain all this in a tick. And I have to confirm. And then this now starts doing this. So what's going on here is at the very end of this 80s pop project, I finished all the code. I've got rid of all the bugs everything like that, the very last thing to do is stick it up onto the Artblock staging server, which this is, and then go through the process that um, collectors would do, which is hit the buy button, confirm, and then wait on here for the thing to pop up. And my drop has 366 mints in it. That's the, the addition size. So this is going to happen 366 times. And for the people on art blocks to be able to see what all the results will look like, I have to mint like 366 of them to give a good sample size. And it takes just over a minute for each one to happen. So I've just done this one here. Fantastic. I actually quite like this one. This one's a sort of juicy color palette. Anyway, let's close that. Hit the purchase button. Purchase again. Confirm. When it happens, come on, there we go. And I'll go through the whole thing again. This is taking me literally hours and hours to get through all 366 of them. Let me show you around the rest of the studio while that happens. Come with me. All right, while well, that's doing its thing, over here, we have some nice prints. These are prints that have come out, some of these designs. Oh, I don't know what Epidemic Sound's playing now. So there's some of the 80s pop. Some of the colors on this are really lovely. And then down here, got some huge 70s pop ones. Anyway, that's all very rustly. Yeah, anyway, so those are prints going on there. Over here, this is where the pen plotter lives. At the moment, my AXA draw is going through a bit of heart uh, heart surgery. This I've cannibalized this other AXA draw because it's not working quite right. We're trying to debug that. So I've got the controller board here. We're swapping them out. We're putting some um, we're putting some updating firmware on there. We're updating the firmware on there so that we can see what's happening. And in the meantime, I have on loan from a different set of people, this pen plotter here, which is a prototype, and they've entrusted me to have a go and see if I can not break it, but, but test it to its limit. So luckily I have a stand-in plotter at the moment while the AXA draw is being figured out, repaired. Let me just show you in here. So this, this is the rather twee, but still lovely wallpaper, and everything is waiting on that project over there, the 80s pop project to finish. So I can actually take a break and get all these walls painted white because in here we still have all these prints down here that are up in the other studio. So there's some 70s pop stuff, some screen prints, some other uh, art blocks projects people might recognize over there. And then these prints and then up here, well, wait, because if we just go to the museum, so the print is in the museum at the moment, which would normally be on this wall. Uh, when it, that's finished in its exhibition, then it'll come back here. Let me just take you through to the kitchen. 
So the kitchen's all lovely at the moment, but because I sort of just use that end as the kitchen for cooking and things like that, I have all this extra storage space down here. And here's a green screen. And in here, if I open this up, this is where all the printing stuff for, um, so I'll do this copper etching. So I've got a big copper plate down here and I use the pen plotter with a scribe to inscribe my designs. And I've got a printing press down there and all the ink that I need to try to find out whether I can actually print these. That's interesting. So that's going to be in the kitchen, which also sort of counts as a, as a workshop, I guess. So yeah, welcome to the kitchen. Some lovely flowers back through the relaxing loungy area that I need to have wallpaper. Some wallpaper's going to go up here. Let's get ourselves back over to here where another one has just popped up. And this is probably going to be blown out. Let's see if I can just adjust that a little bit. Oh man, this is going to be so hard to color balance. Right, close it down. So you can see down here an example of all the different mints that it's doing. So the people at the bee can go look at all of those and then actually set a final date on that project, which I'm kind of looking forward to because this has been taking up a lot of my time and I'm looking forward to having a week off. Anyway, I thought that would be a fun, quick, quick vlog. Um, no point to it other than just to say hi and thanks for sticking around. Um, it's going to be an interesting, interesting next couple of months. So I will see you next time. <laughs>